Hey guys, welcome back to Armored Warfare, Zager 262 with another news episode. So happy Monday to everybody. Uh, if you're in North America or on the North American server, which again, I know those don't really exist anymore, it's all one server, then this just came out for us, obviously earlier or later depending on where you are in the world. But for us, this is important, and I wouldn't normally cover it because it's a really small update, but basically... Just like always, Armored Warfare is releasing a micro patch for all the botched content that they've had, or all the content they didn't actually fix in the last update. And that's all this is routine maintenance for tomorrow, April 30th. But the reason I wanted to add this in is because of this line right here fixed a number of issues related to the flag system. The reason I bring that up is because, as you know, we've talked about it if you're on the forums, on the Reddit, um, if you're talking in-game on the global chat, everybody's had problems with flags so far. And so this piece of news caught my information. You can actually see right now that there's like, what is that, two, four, five, five things are changed. So this update's incredibly small, update 0 0.28.5413, really small. But the reason that caught my eye is because there has been a multitude of problems and I can only begin to wonder as to what Armored Warfare or at, you know EnlargeMy.com is trying to fix with this update and like I said the last uh, last video I made I was talking about how there were conversations regarding the cost of the new feature and so my first thought is that maybe just maybe tomorrow you'll see that it'll either cost less gold, won't cost any gold at all, except for, of course, the flags or something. And hopefully that's the changes they make, but there's nothing confirmed on that. I won't know until tomorrow, so I'll make another video after the update, you know, launches. Um, but there is a multitude of issues beyond just the cost. For anybody that's used the flags in game, maybe they've picked up more than I have. Since I don't use them, I can only see the feature in Garage. But for example, for a lot of vehicles, the flags are placed in really weird ways um, on all AFVs or, you know, or light vehicles rather, because it doesn't really matter if it's an AFV or not. On smaller vehicles like the VBL, the OT, I want to say 64, maybe not, the one before that, the tier 3. Anyway, on those, a lot of wheeled, it's mostly wheeled vehicles. The flags are in the front, you know, like the cornet, and because of that, they're angled. They're like diagonal, which looks funny. Um, a lot of people in the forums were talking about how big the flags were compared to the vehicle, and I mean, they're really huge. And so a lot of people were talking about oh, what do real armored flags look like, what are real militaries using. And of course, not much. Um, most militaries don't actually use tactical flags uh, on their armored vehicles. Uh, in this way that's not to say that they don't use flags you know but it's like the um the navy of any country where you see a lot of flags and the rigging they're really small they're signal flags they mean things that's kind of how they use them in armored warfare they don't actually use giant national flags so i don't i wasn't really sure what they meant by it doesn't look real but that was a complaint that i saw a lot of and a big part of that complaint was this the sheer size i mean they don't change size between vehicles, which is kind of the problem, I think, for people. So they look small and fine on, say, you know, like a Leopard 2A Evolution, but they'll be the same size on a Cornette, so there's like all the front of the Cornette's just this big flag. And so I get that. That's kind of an issue. Um, for some vehicles, the f one flag is higher than the other one. I don't know what that's about. They just designed it that way. I don't know if that's like an aesthetic choice or if there's you know, a reason for that, but whatever that's a problem and then the only thing I could think about other than those two is just being able to choose where you put the flag or people buying flags and not getting them or purchasing you know decal flags and not realizing that the decals don't actually unlock national flags so the reason I said all that sorry about the long tangent is because they could be changing any one of those things or something that I didn't even mention something that has nothing to do with that at all you know, just be like, oh, how do the flags move? And they could change that. And so the reason I say that is because hopefully for me, the reason I'm reporting this news is I want them to change the cost of the feature. It should not cost anything. It should be completely free to all players. 
you know that's what I believe, you know I think this was a huge mistake on their part, and they should only charge gold for the actual flags. Because again, it's a one-time purchase of 50 gold, 3600 gold, if you want to own every flag in the game, that's up to you. If you want to, then yeah, you should pay for it. But you shouldn't have to pay to use a new feature that's absolutely and aesthetically you know, meaningless almost. Like There's no reason to use it except for personal customization, so you shouldn't have to pay for that ability. And so I'm hoping they change that, but keep in mind that the flags in general have had a lot of just different visual problems, aesthetic problems, I should say. Uh, so it, it really, the changes that they make tomorrow could be nothing, but I won't know till then. Anyway, sorry for the rant about flags. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. If you like this content, please give us a thumbs up. That's what keeps the channel going. And thank you so much for watching this. And as always, until next time.